Hey, I'm Paul Morgan. I'm 26 years old and um, I'm a carpenter slash big wave surfer. I just surf big waves because I love doing it and um, always have since I, was, since I was young, since I was like 14. I just uh, started surfing big waves around home on the south coast and um, just loved it from then. When I'm at work, every day I'm pretty much just thinking about a wave that I've ridden. There's usually a big smile on my face and probably usually telling the, telling the boys at work and just paddle into one, just <laughs> big drop, bottom turn, like pulled in or something and get you through, you know, like it just gives you something to look forward to. There's usually some kind of swell that's going to happen, you know, in a week's time. So I'm at work, working away, and my mind's over here thinking about next week at Cow Bombing sort of thing. And that's all I'm thinking about when I'm at work. Oh, no, I'm thinking about my girlfriend and my kid that's about to come. <laughs> Better say that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I look across at Morgs and I see the excitement building up in him. And, it, you know, it sort of takes me back a bit and the excitement. And it's nice to know I still have it too. Tom Cale and Roscoe Jones are like my heroes when I was growing up. Just to come away with these boys and just be filming for a movie and a TV show, it's just like a dream. <laughs> Surf with these guys and hang out with them, get to know them, and um, give them the opportunity to travel around in Australia and shoot them, it's just been so fun. The energy they've got is just unbelievable. Like Tom's 50 or something and Ross is 45. They're like two 16 year olds just laughing and giggling. And it's just funny to watch them sit back and just laugh. Oh, no Ross, how are you going, mate? Yeah, I've got a tattoo. It's um, just about my dad because he's pretty much my biggest inspiration in my life. Every trip I used to go on, Dad used to say, get a big one for me. I just look at a picture of Dad in the morning and just, and I just get this shiver down my spine and I just go, let's go, it's on. The beginning of surfing for me was pretty difficult. I wasn't a natural at all. It took me pretty much a month to just stand up on a whitewash. <laughs> and when I moved to Hawaii when I was 17 and I got to see the Eddie Cow run. I think that moment kind of really solidified my passion for big waves and the fact that I really wanted to do that and be part of that. The fact that there wasn't many girls doing it too, I think maybe attracted me and just the whole kind of challenge. Fear is, you know, it's always there. I think, you know, under the pressure of fear and, and your instincts just get really solid and um, it, it kind of saves you a lot too. You just want to really concentrate on, on making the wave, getting the best line you can, putting everything behind your fears because you really have to commit. To really shut down everything around you and, and be able to concentrate on that single wave you're committing to go, I think that's the key and that's the secret. Mike Abera is the, probably the most courageous woman surfer on earth. I've seen her take off on waves that most men wouldn't. She's just a little charger. I would first describe Russ and Tom as grommets because they're like older generation, but at the same time they're like soaking and they prop over waves and they're always surfing and they're so excited and they're like kids. But yeah, her level's right up there. She knows what she's doing. She's she's got a lot of confidence. Like I've had, you know, tough times because I was a girl, but then I also had, you know, 
the great times and the support because I was a girl. surfing and motor racing. I mean, when you're on a big wave, you're trying to find the right line. 